The highly anticipated Doomsday Clock, issue number 10, reveals the secrets behind Dr. Manhattan and his connection to the DC Universe. Two legends meet in Mexico face to face. Who will survive when Hellboy and Lobster Johnson get in the ring and fight to the death? You've seen the show Stranger Things, but this is your first glimpse into the strangeness that happens before the series begins in Stranger Things 6. It's a prequel. Batman Last Night on Earth. This will be a three-issue miniseries in which Bruce Wayne wakes up in Arkham Asylum and he discovers he was never Batman. So I think this is going to be a really hot book, man. It's a really cool idea. So in the book, we'll see a massive cast of familiar faces as Bruce tries to piece together his mysterious past and what he's doing in Arkham Asylum. So make sure you come in and grab this book, man. It's going to fly off the shelf. Other comics we'll have out, man, this week is Darth Vader, Visions, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mystery Science Theater, Doctor Who, Thanos, Angel, and many, many more. So swing by, pick up your favorite title, and your adventure begins right here. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Adventure Begins. I'm Jarek, back again with another game that we're unboxing today. Uh, today, we're going to have Power Grid. It is, um, in the words of our immortal and fearless leader, Bill, uh, it's, the, it's, it's his first and favorite, uh, you know, power management company game. Uh, so let's see what's inside. But yeah, it's a nice, nice clean little box. Nice and uh, sturdy outside. Nothing, nothing too bad so far. Cracking up into it, we have our first thing, and it is the instruction manual. Um, first things first on it, it's clearly labeled as to where sections break off, but after that, it kind of just breaks down to walls of text and icons. Kind of, It requires you to kind of know what you're doing when you look into it. Um, not my favorite in terms of kind of instruction manuals and how it's, how it's laid out and presented, but I mean, it probably gets the job done. But then again, just might take a little more reading for you to get through and find out what you're looking for. The next big thing on the inside is our actual game board. It looks like we have, yeah, we have two sides actually today. Uh, first one is, uh, so one side we have Germany. It's with all these different power grids going across, like the name implies. On the other side, we have the good old US of A, the best country on earth and, you know, proud to be an American. Also, the whole bunch of power grids kind of floating around. Um, looks relatively clean. Uh, biggest issue I can see with it is it might get confusing where things are going. But, I mean, I think once you get used to where things are, it's not going to be that bad. Next thing on the inside, we got some cards. I believe these are each of the power stations. Uh, yep, because they're, they're all labeled, so they probably match up somewhere. It's so like 03 here would probably go right between Seattle and Portland. Kind of goes all the way through. They're decent size, um, pretty clearly labeled. Kind of tells you exactly what's on them and where it's going what. Um, yeah, decent, decent thickness to it as well. Not too shabby. We also got some uh, power grid money. I'd say Monopoly money, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Whoops, whoops. Uh, but yeah, we have different color dollar dollar bills with different amounts. I guess you can make it rain all over the power grid, and that's how you. For some reason, the fives are in the very back. That's weird. We got us a whole bag of colored uh, tokens. Let's see, they're yep, they're made of wood, different colors. Probably one for each player, if I had to guess. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while now. I'm kind of a professional, so I think I know what I'm talking about. Key word is think. Um, yeah, we have all these different co colored tokens. They're all shaped like little houses that we can probably put all across the board to declare who has what and why and how. So we also have some more colored tokens. I think these ones represent the different types of power that you get access to, as well as a few other random tokens in here, such as, let's see, there's a big green number one. There's a white long block here. Don't know what that goes to. Um, but looks like we get access to stuff like corn, uh, oil, nuclear power. Big ol' number one if you're the best person ever. So yeah, those look like they're all the tiles you get access to. Oh, we got another one in here. And last but not least, we get a whole stock of bags to organize things in. So you're no longer just putting everything back in and spending like 25 minutes trying to organize everything else so you can start playing. Now you can do that at the end of your game. And it's going to be right there and ready for you to go for the next time you play. 
So it looks like this is what's inside Power Grid. Uh, so if you want to find games such as this or you know anything like it, you can come on down to the Adventure Begins and you can definitely try it out here. I have the power! He has the power. Grid. Hey man, do you like the 1980s? Well, we do, man. So get your uh, pumped up kicks ready and your fireballs yeah. ready as well because we've got D&D Stranger Things. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to be Will the Wise or, you know, Dustin the Dwarf, now is the perfect chance to do it. We've got a few more of these guys sitting around in the store right now, but it gives you the classic Stranger Things Dungeon the Dragon experience, including a Demogorgon minifigure. That's right. I think there's two in there. Isn't there? Yeah, there's actually two in there. Sorry. Yeah, so if you're a big fan of the show, you saw um, the game that they played in season one. This is the actual game. This is the adventure that they go on. So, you know, like you said, you can pick yeah. a, your favorite character and go on the same adventure. Yeah, and it's a whole story kind of written up around the story that the kids are playing in Stranger Things. And so we've had a lot of calls about this, and a lot of people are coming in looking for it. So make sure you come on and grab it before they do, because it's definitely going to be a hot ticket item for the summer. That's right, man. Get strange, baby. Hey, man, that's it for this episode of The Adventure Begins. I'm Chaz. I'm Jarek. And remember, gang, keep Scooby-Doo away from Groot. See ya, nerds. <laughs> We've had stranger things happen. <laughs> the highly anticipated Doomsday. Doomsday clock. <laughs> And it back. Oh, da 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 da